It's your girl with Millie said. I'm so excited. I have my girls with me today. Miss Shay and Miss April Nicole. How you ladies doing on hey, this beautiful Wednesday? All is well with me. All is well. <laughs> How was y'all weekend? <laughs> <laughs> Why y'all looking at each other like y'all was together or something? Why y'all looking at each other? The weekend isn't over yet. So no. It ain't over. No. Mm-hmm. You know what? You got damn right. <laughs> it's not. This, this past is weekend. Day two. No, I'm talking about this past weekend. Oh, well, past weekend was, it was okay for me. I chilled out. You chill? Mm-hmm. Okay. I worked. You worked? I went to work. So you sound like me about goddamn working mm-hmm. all the time. Okay. So, okay, today's subject, everybody, is self-care. And today we're going to talk about depression, anxiety, and also, how to overcome it and have fun during the process of going through everything. And I'm going to start off with talking about me suffering depression. And that, and a lot of people will look at Millie and be like, you always me? smiling. Right, you. I'm always smiling. Uh, I'm always laughing. I'm always cracking jokes, but not knowing when I go home what I really feel like and look like, which is a bag of shit. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> but I, I can laugh about it now because I, I over overcame a lot of things right you know you seen some of the things that i've been through as well as april that been there since day one you know seen everything that i've been through but a lot of people felt like i didn't do certain things but you can't do shit on other people's terms Mm -hmm. you know whether it's grieving and you know need to take a break Mm -hmm. and being a young mom of five kids at the time now six i still have my mama's but it ain't as bad as it used to be right um so and I also went. I also had my first anxiety attack with pregnant with the twins, mm. and I think it scared my mama <laughs> no more than anything. Yeah, it, it is scary. Definitely it's took me through there. Something from that. She, she, what, she, anxiety. Yeah, she had panic attacks and stuff like that. So the first time we ever seen her freak out, yeah, it, it scared her because I was like. I really thought she was playing at first, but nah, that's, that shit is <laughs> What you were looking at? Get your ass off from me. <laughs> get really, your ass off. Like, what you need to stop playing? Like, <laughs> oh, you like, did her like laugh, that? Laugh, for real. Like, bitch, quit playing with me. Like, oh, wow. But no, nah, it's real, though. For real. Yeah, it's so scary. Have, so have you ever suffered from any depression or anxiety? I have. I have. But um, it's like, you just take it one day at a time. Yeah. You just take it one day at a time. It don't necessarily just go away. You just get better. That's part. That's that's true. You just get better. Yeah, it don't go away. No, it don't go away. You just get better. You know how to deal with certain things a little better. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have you ever suffered, April, from depression, and anxiety? Uh, all my business. <laughs> I mean, it's it's uh, the, it's I mean, a it's, real it's so, subject. It, it really is. It's okay to talk about that. I agree to come on. So I can <laughs> um, but yes, I have. I have definitely been depressed before. Um, mm-hmm. Just the past couple of years, I've silently have dealt with anxiety, mm-hmm. which is weird for me because I've never been in that situation. Um, but dealing with depression, I tend to I distance myself a little bit mm-hmm. from my normal routine. Um, but my worst depression was... Uh, I still, like you said, smile. I still crack jokes. Still sing. Still sing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I still get up there and give everybody the business, perform like nobody, you know. And, um, but when it was all over, I had to wash it off. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. So it's like I'm in a great head space to when other you're around people. people. Can't never let nobody else see sweat. That, that's, that's how true you be too, feeling. But that, that, be you, that, that's how you be feeling. And that's true. So, you know, I had to I had to deal with that um recently, uh, maybe about maybe about two, three months ago. Um, did a show. Showed out was sweating and mm-hmm. you know I did my thing. Mm-hmm. But when I went home and washed my face and looked in this Bible mirror, I just bust out crying. Because mm-hmm. it's like I don't have to perform anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't have to fake it anymore. I'm behind closed doors. She don't know this, but she's <laughs> she's <laughs> throwing, she's finding out today. Um, and with the anxiety things, I don't I don't know if it's more so of a panic attack as well, 
but I tend to hyperventilate a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'll get the shaking and stuff, and I'm just like, okay, this this is new, and I don't know why this is happening. Because sometimes I say I'm over something, or I have dealt with it, but it's still in the back, back of your head. It's still back here. The one I call so, you throughout all times of the day. My <laughs> sister feels it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just, you know. You can come out of it. You definitely can. At least I'm not the old depressed April mm -hmm. that used food as a uh, as a way out, as a, a you know what I'm saying, a scapegoat and make me feel better. Mm -hmm. I was 605 pounds mm -hmm. <laughs> of unhappiness, right. but I was just as lovely as I wanted to be right. when people saw me. Oh, you're so pretty. I love your smile, and then no, and I'm like. Love on me, hug me. I feel like right. crap, you know. Right. right. So, how much weight have you lost since you stopped using food as a substance to get over your depression and anxiety? I lost three hundred pounds. All right. Yeah. Um, I gotta give a yeah. hand for that. You gotta give a hand for that. Naturally. Okay. All right. Getting back away from the table, <laughs> getting in the gym, doing mm -hmm. my thing. Um, of course, life mm -hmm. yeah. slaps you. You know. And you tend to fall off a little bit. I did fall off, but I didn't pick up no 605 or no 305 right, or like right. that. But um, the thing is just to, you know, get back up. Don't don't stay in that rut. You can climb out of it. I have climbed out several times. Right. And when it tries to rear its little head back up, it's like, okay, now I got to go back to war. I got to fight you again. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's you can you can... It's easier for some than it is for others. Like, yeah. you've had people who are strong-minded, strong-willed, ain't never been a depressed a day in their life, and then out of nowhere... It hits them. It hits them, yeah. and they don't that's know what, how that's, to... That's what happened to me. And they don't know how to get out of it, because they're right. like, no, I'm I'm strong. I don't do this. This is, this right. is this not me. me, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So you got to pull yourself up out of it. And then, like, if you know you battle with depression, and you, you can't always hang with folk that's depressed out there. Right. right, you can't that do that because it'll you. rub off on you, and then you're trying to bring them out of what you were in, and you didn't help pull them out a little bit. Now they done pulled you down. Now you mm -hmm. back in it, so it's yeah. But you always got to find something that works for you. And another thing, people do if you got a friend that always come with you with sad news, mm -mm. please just say, "Give me one minute," because mm -hmm. boy, I swear it felt like somebody had bad news, and it like that shit just rub off on me. And now I'm having a fucked up day, right. you know. So if you have somebody of like, or if Pum Pum be like, "Dang, Pum -pum. bitch, I can't pay my bill today. My money's short." But you got a new fat ass blunt in your hand. You had That's money somewhere, right? You know what I'm saying? You or, can support your habits. Yeah, you can support your habits, but don't want to take care of the main important stuff. You know. Priorities back. So yeah, so I used to have people come around me with sob stories, and for I know it's like I got a dark cloud over me. And I said, okay, I had to tell somebody the other day, you can't be kept to save a hoe. Yeah, you can't take everybody. You energy. can't take everybody. Yeah, you really mm -hmm. can't. So when people come to me about their problem, I'll be like, let me take this phone call. I don't give a damn, ain't nobody calling me. I'm like, let me take this phone call. Yeah. I don't want to hear your shit. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it. I don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I don't, and look, and look, and, and they don't even know if I'm being mean or, or being wrong. I just don't, I don't want your, your vibes on mm -hmm. me. And then if you tell me something about somebody else, you can't see and say, well, Millie said this. Cause I ain't say shit because I ain't right. even hear what you had to say right. in the first place. So over the years, I learned a lot when people have issues or say things, I just back away from it, you know. And, you I, too. and I did something like that the other day. They was like, bitch, guess what? I'm like, hold on, my husband called me. <laughs> you know, he wasn't calling me. I don't, I don't, I don't want to know what you got going on, you know, because I don't want to be reliable for telling you the truth and what the fuck to do yeah. to get about that shit, you know. Because mm -hmm. every time you tell somebody something that you've been through, and they and you include the other party that they going through it with, mm -hmm. it don't never get back to that person the same. No. Nope. So it's, I don't even give advice. Extra I try not some to. Sauce mm -hmm. added on to yeah, it. it's always something extra. Mm -hmm. So I I chose not to to give my advice on shit anymore. I just be like, well, what you gonna do? There's something I can tell you. What you gonna do? Is you gonna stay or you gonna go? Is you gonna do it or you ain't? So yeah. So anxiety and depression is real, and a lot of people get on medication for it too. My doctor tried to give me the anxiety shit, and I know what it do to you once you take hey, it. And your zombie. system, you be on that wall like, <laughs> <laughs> you be crawling on the wall backwards. You know, and people don't know what the hell going on with you because you done started on these medications. So what I used to do for 
for my anxiety, because like like she said, when you when you know you that strong minded person, and certain things hit you. Mm-hmm. And one day I was I was at home and and babe was at work, kids was at school, and I just started like she said hyperventilating. And I didn't know what was going on with me, mm-hmm. you know. And I'm sitting here like, why I can't stop breathing like mm-hmm. this, you know? So I I ran, I cut some music on. Like when I know I'm going through something, I put on some some eight ball MJG. Some that you know <laughs> that that will move my spirit, you know. Right. And I put on that eight ball. We don't want no drama. And then it's like my body can feel when somebody coming with some bullshit, mm-hmm. you know. And then like I was at work, somebody was like, "Millie, when you call my name a certain way, I know I'm in trouble." Right. When you call it a certain way, if it ain't bubbling happy, like you happy to see me, oh, I'm not oh, shit. We gonna say it so. So I had to deal with this shit at work, and and I just like not today. And she was like, I ain't saying nothing, but hey, it's coming, not today. <laughs> she was like, how you know I'm going to tell you something? I, I felt it. You know, now mm-hmm. I can feel, because that's one thing I did pray about. I wanted, I wanted to be able to have the spirit of discernment. Mm-hmm. I did pray for that, and God granted me that. Like, if you got a bad vibe or if I know you're full of it, I feel it automatically. Mm-hmm. And my husband will tell you that. Mm-hmm. I get around certain people, and I shut my mouth. Mm-hmm. You know, and we could be in a fun environment, but if I get around you and I... And I feel something. I don't talk to you. I just be like, hey, girl, your food good. She say, yeah, that's it. You ain't hear shit up from me. Or I'll be at the club, that lounge, dinner, wherever we at. Mm-hmm. You know, so one thing I learned to, instead of getting on medication, because it's every doctor's outlet when people suffer depression and anxiety, right. and, and that medication, doing all that, will make you act out on your children, you know, taking that, that type of medicine. So one thing I learned to do was take long, hot bubble baths. Especially if you got a big ass garden tub, mm-hmm. cut your music on and lay in that tub. It's been plenty of times I sit in the tub and just be crying because I'm like, why is all this shit happening around me? Mm-hmm. And I stay in my lane, I stay to myself. Mm-hmm. I help others if I have it or even if I don't. I don't give a goddamn if it's five to ten to a hundred to a thousand. If I got it, I'm alone to it. Right. And you know, one thing, uh, Pastor Kim, I do give kudos to him. He told me, he said, if, if they got a job, Tell them to, to make arrangements. And that's one thing that made me depressed was my money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my money, y'all. I blow I blow damn near half a meal. <laughs> Don't even ask me how. How you, <laughs> how you But you know that? what? He, I, one thing I can't say, Pastor Campbell told me. He said, Carol, you young. You got more to come. You going to blow through your first, your first chunk of money. I mean, some things I did good with. I paid certain things off. I bought certain things. I, I set my kids up straight, you right. know, so when they get older, graduate from college or go off to high school, they straight, right. you know. But some things I was smart on, some things I wasn't smart on, you know, and that caused me to go in a hole. Mm-hmm. And he told me, he said, Kara, everybody going to come your way. Everybody going to want this from you. And guess what? I had folks sleeping on my damn couch that I don't even talk to. They would come spending the night, and I'm just like, where you, you come from? Yeah, where you come from? You ain't going home today? You know, and then they be like, hey, cuz, hey, hey, man, I need gas money. Okay, shoot. If you got an SUV, I'm going to give you $100 because I know it costs. Mm-hmm. You know, so I had a lot of people take advantage of me. That that would cause my depression and my anxiety, mm-hmm. people. You know, it was other stuff like going to court, fighting trials, that didn't bother me. You think it would because you got an opportunity to go to jail. But that didn't bother me. That shit didn't scare me. It was the people that was around me that I trusted, that I loved, you know, and they took a huge gap in helping me blow some money, you know. And and now I realize that self-care is so important. Like, I learned to say no now. You ask me, and I don't give a damn. I got bands in my bank account. I'm going to say no. And I'm still learning to say to say Y'all no still to learning people. To I'm like, no. and it's crazy yeah. because... I'm always getting frustrated. Like, April, you don't say no enough. You always tell the folk, yeah, tell these folk no. But then when I tell people no, they make me feel guilty. Or as if I have cussed them smooth <laughs> Right, out right. Because I, the yes girl, said right. no. no. Yeah, and I, I think that's why I got cussed out a lot, too. Because I said no, and I was always the yes girl. Because I was the woman, the mother. Like, a lot of things my family didn't know I was going through. Mental abuse uh, mental abuse physical abuse they didn't know that just like when she seen the first bruise on me she was about to lose her mind 
Like, cause I, I, I hid it. I hid the rules. I was ready to go to war. I, 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 to I, go to yeah, war. I know you would. I hid the rules. It's rulings. funny that she said. I can that, laugh see, about it now. I knew something was wrong when we was at church one Sunday, and I was up on the stage, and I kept looking in the audience where she was sitting at, and it was just like darkness is all I saw around her. Mm -hmm. Like you can see pure colors of everything else, but around her it was just black. Right. It was just dark. And I'm singing, and I just start crying, and I'm looking at her, and, and I'm thinking singing. She the Holy they Ghost thinking on the stage. that I'm calling the spirit. <laughs> I'm calling because I feel something's wrong with my baby sister, mm -hmm. and she ain't said nothing to me right. about it. I could and not. I, did say I could not contain myself the whole service. I cried from uh, uh, start to finish of the service, she and they did. were just like, "April was so kind." They 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 were I'm taking like, her to the <laughs> bag, and I'm sitting here. I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I'm sitting in the auditorium, and I'm just <laughs> looking at her, and I'm like. Why is she just, she can't sing the words to the song. <laughs> she just, Girl, I said. I said crying. I, was, I mean, they, 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 they damn near had to carry her off that stage. Sister's that always know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, sister always, and, mm -hmm. and a lot of things, women don't, they don't say nothing when they go through abuse. And I was the one suffered for years and didn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and a lot of times when men are abusive because of what they seen in their home growing up as a child, or, you know, anger issues that have been built up. Right. You know, before my kid's father passed, we, we had a deep talk. Nobody, nobody really knows. Of course, they accuse me of everything when they come to him. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I, I just I just let it roll off my back now. But me and him had a deep talk in 2014 before his passing. And he came to my apartment, and that's the thing. A lot of people didn't know we were separated. I had my own crib. He had his own crib in Riverdale, and I stayed in Clayco. So it was like he came to the apartment, and, and I let him – Chill with the kids. I said, no, you watch your kids here. You stay the weekends. You can sleep here. Most baby mamas ain't going to do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he just kept saying, I don't want them over there where I'm at. I said, okay, cool. You can spend the night here. I thought it was his slick way trying, trying to, to get, get me in. back. You yeah. know? I mean, he was. And we, we tried to reconcile. But we did. And um, But he came to me, He and he apologized. Because 2013 was the year that I thought my life was just over. Mm -hmm. You know? And he came to me in 2014, a year after that incident between me and him at 13, and he apologized. And it was just weird. And I'm just like, he said, he said, Carol, I'm so sorry for putting my hands on you, cussing you out. I don't want my sons to be that way. And and he was like, and I don't want to think my daughters think, he said, because I, I kill another man if they put their hands on my daughter. Right. You know, and, and I looked at him, and it was hard for me to accept the apology, but I knew he was sincere because he never apologized. And I just said, you know what? I say it is what it is. You know? <laughs> what you okay. got, special delivery right, coming right, look, in? We're so serious right now, everybody. I'm so sorry, but we telling the women about abuse and depression. I'm so sorry. So we get a look, curveball yeah, right yeah. now. <laughs> look, ladies and gents, I'm sorry, but I did I did throw a curveball in today's show. You can bring it, baby. Come on. And and April, Miss, Miss April and uh, Miss Shay. <laughs> I don't know what she got going on. <laughs> I'm so sorry because I was being so serious. But ladies, let me tell you what. No matter what you go through in life, cherish every moment, celebrate every moment, and enjoy it. Okay, so today, uh, I got a pie eating contest with Shay and April and me. I'm going to do, do it with the ladies. I'm going to do it with the ladies. That's why you said don't wear no makeup today? That's why I said don't wear no makeup, no y'all. No lashes. I do no have mine on. <laughs> Why all the, why all the cherries? You know what? All right, y'all. The contest is what, what's the contest? What that mouth yeah, do? Yeah, what, what that, that mouth, mouth do? do? What it's gonna be? <laughs> so I don't know. Let me see. Um, let me get a little music up in here. Okay. So how long do we have? First of all, like where the winner, whoever eats the most, and we'll let how you say your name, baby. Leanna. We'll let Leanna be the judge who eat the most pie. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna okay. this up right quick, everybody. I, look, I can't go down. And then like... everybody is Shay birthday. Yeah, yeah. I want it's, it's Shay birthday, everybody. Thank you. Tell everybody happy birthday. Everybody tell her happy birthday. Thank happy birthday. you, thank Shay. you. Where you where you partying at? I'm gonna try this new spot in uh, Marietta. Uh, I guess I'll give them a little shout out because I've right. been there a couple times. <laughs> I ca I kind of like the little spot. What's How you say it? The little spot. <laughs> Little spot uh, in Marietta, I like it. I so where we going to Marietta? Barber Bistro. And what? How you say Marietta? Marietta, you know, country <laughs> people, man. 
I'm from All Atlanta right. for real. That's that's the Atlanta. That's the Atlanta. So side. y'all, if y'all got a chance, come celebrate with her, and we are gonna have a good time. Yeah. Gonna be a turn up. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a turn up. Like, okay, you don't supposed to do no hand, but Shay got big titties. I everybody. got so I can't. <laughs> I can't get that. Hold up. Hold on. Let me. Hold on. Let me. Let me get Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my boobies in the way. Let me put that little tie back. That ain't gonna work for me. So I'm gonna. Oh, oh, Shay, Shay, all right, put your butt out. Let's see how you ain't your butt. Let's see how you get it. You can't get it right. You ain't get it. You ain't get it. You're gonna have to pick it up. And I got a short tongue. I got a latch. She got, got a, a latch. short tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. I got a latch. It's short. I'm scared. All right, the winner will win some money. So, y'all, this Shay birthday. <laughs> So how many? Uh, what are we, oh, what are we doing? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna put it like this: whoever eat the most cherries. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> oh no, nah, it's too many seasons. One, two, three, four, five, six, the, the real <laughs> cherries. No. So we all got about the same no. amount of cherries. No. You uh-uh. got seeds in it. Okay, just spit the cherry. I'll put it back in the pie. Listen, I'm not trying to break anything. We're gonna okay. choke on camera. <laughs> <laughs> We gonna choke on camera. She, oh, she didn't no. think this through. No. <laughs> no, she should have put some grapes or something. <laughs> Got these whole ass seeds. <laughs> she gonna have us in here. Ma'am. Oh, 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 ma'am. No. What's the so name of the movie? Jawbreaker. Right. What's the name of the Jawbreaker? Hold on. Hold on. So listen. So listen. Okay, wait a minute. It need to be the Ooh, most whipped cream. I'm about to The most whipped cream that has been. Girl. Devour. Devour. Yeah. The whipped cream. You got a napkin. And a few cherries. Spit the cherries on the napkin. Spit the cherries on the napkin. If you chew that, I am not responsible for anybody teeth in their mouth. Wait. So if you got to eat it, spit the cherry on the napkin, okay? Jesus, Louise. Oh, so sorry. here it is. Shea birthday. Swallow. Shea birthday. <laughs> My birthday. It's my oh, birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Oh God, yeah. Ah. This I swear these two are they they special. I promise you. Please. But uh, I'm a, I'm what have we to... done? We have not done anything. I don't what know. you mean? What you done? Let's you see, are you comfortable see. with eating it? They good. You tasted it already. You cheating? I just oh, try to get some birthday. Yeah, I, I, I can. Finger. I can. All right, it won't come through the speaker, but you ready? Is it picking up loud? You ready? Uh-huh. Happy birthday. Yes. You ready? Uh, are we going to start eating it? Yeah. Are we eating on this? Yeah. Oh. You ready? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I, can't, I can't with y'all. <laughs> I can't. I ain't even got one cherry. <gasps> oh, God. All right, come on, Shay. You ready? I'm in there. <laughs> I'm all red in my whole face in there. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to lose, y'all. I'm going to lose, y'all. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm going to lose. I think I was giving more. You ready? Huh? You know my red, huh? I was giving more. <laughs> April 1. <laughs> April 1. <laughs> April one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't even get a chair. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's mm-hmm. over with. Yeah. <laughs> Game over. Well, whoever had the most would have won $500 today. Oh, boo. Boo. <laughs> you got that. She a liar. <laughs> she a liar. She ain't oh, telling that. <laughs> I'm going to top this off real quick. <laughs> <laughs> the buzz like. It's still going, baby. No, no. It's still going. No way. It's no way. Mm. It's no way. <laughs> she, she the judge. <laughs> you, it's no way. You said that at the beginning of the game. Minute. You only had one minute to eat the damn pie. You, you only had that, one minute. You said that at the beginning of the game, and she the judge. <laughs> Wait a minute. Shay said no. I'm uh, you uh, use your hand. You my 
about to touch it. You said, oh, with that, I just want the chair. I'm oh, Will Green. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh. Oh, Lord. That was funny, y'all. Oh, y'all. We just had to do a party cut test for Shay today. <laughs> so, Shay went $1,000. <laughs> She drunk and ass stuck her hand in it. Oh, but it was funny. Oh, uh, so ladies, hey. as, as we we just make like sure you get your, your face in your mind real good. So when you get home, your husband, yeah, your husband, like, what's yeah, what's this white stuff dried up on your face? <laughs> you got <laughs> no, I got no strong jaw. You see how I look? Oh Lord, you it's drunk and she cheated. Nah, she you ain't say how to do it. You said <laughs> to do it. Oh God, y'all. Ooh, the part Whoa. of that whole segment was to, no matter what you go through, celebrate every win. Celebrate anything that you could think of. Hell, I don't care if you get your first job, you wrote your first your first book, or shoot, just getting out of the damn bed and putting some clothes on. Right. Celebrate everything that you go through in life, you guys. You think y'all want to say to the ladies in here first? they probably think we crazy. These boys was talking about how to overcome depression. To you did right. Life. We got to have fun. You got to have fun. You know, get your get your group get your cry out and then right, get your cry and out and keep it moving. I taught Trippy say cry for one day. Mm-hmm. That one day get it all. You still eating cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My motherfuckers is good. <laughs> 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 they is good. Y'all can't put no fruit in nothing in front of a big girl. Okay, no. I need eight breakfast. I just can't. And that's why I'm only eating one. <laughs> but no matter what, ladies, cry for one day, get it out, do what you gotta do, yell, scream, because there's been plenty of time that I screamed in my car, mm-hmm. screamed through, walking through the house while the kids was at school, don't cry out, help, I don't care, just wherever you at, you need to get it out, bitch, scream, mm-hmm. scream, no matter where you at, there's been mm-hmm. plenty of time, one time I screamed at church and I was just yelling. Yeah. I said, thank God he told everybody else to yell at the same time. Because <laughs> 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 I didn't want to just be looking crazy. Just, ah! But that, that yelling out, crying out, it helps a whole lot. It makes you, it helps you clear your mind to think about, what. okay, bitch, get up. I got to do this today. Right. I always find you know, an outlet. Yeah. If it's working out. Or Especially my, my, my therapy is, is either shopping writing, or the nail drawing. salon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the nail salon spa or you got a hair salon. Spa day. Yeah. They got they got these muscular men out here now, ladies doing these these little sexual massages. Try Go to, get you one. Cause they, I had one before and that shit feel good. They giving extra. Man, Hell yeah. One hell of a lot. I've been looking at hip page. Ooh, Ooh but, she but, married you. But he told me I can't ah! go. Oh, okay. That's the only reason I ain't booked it because he said I can't go. Oh, so say you can't I'm go. Respect his boundaries. Okay, he said I just, you like, can't. I just look at the videos from afar. He'd be like, damn. Yeah, <laughs> but I want to try it though. But he told me hell no. Nah. Oh, you better get him. I told him to get the oils ready then. Right. Get him two bottles of baby oil and tell him go go for it. There we go. Yeah, I I tried one before. It felt felt so good. I I felt relieved, and and he he even popped the toes. You know how they pull your toes? I went to a place with my cousin and them called Treat Your Feet. You ever been there before? I heard of them. It was Mm -hmm. nice. You get like a 30-minute body massage and a 30-minute foot massage. Mm -hmm. It it was nice. It was nice. I enjoyed myself. My first time going. Oh, you went? My first time going was probably like maybe... Four years ago, mm-hmm. and they do everything at the same time. Yes, mm-hmm. I didn't like that at first because I'm in the room with other people, and mm-hmm. at the same time you hear their feet being greased. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at the same <laughs> time you hear their feet being hit, mm-hmm. and I was like, I sound like I'm in an orgy. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like an orgy. Let me out. I felt mm-hmm. sweet. I started snoring. Oh my goodness! I was in that motherfucker. Well, I'm very, I'm very ticklish <laughs> on my feet, so yeah. yeah. Right. You be about to get kicked in your chin with me. So, like I said, no matter what, it take time for yourself, especially women with children. Oh God, please take some time to yourself. I've been seeing too much on Instagram and TikTok mothers taking their own children' life because they, they, they and just don't know how to mm-hmm. take a break for themselves. Right. You know, especially I don't care if you got an auntie cousin, one that you can trust with your kids. Leave them. Hey, ask my sister, my mom. Now I used to drive mine off the, at the door and pull off, mm-hmm. but they had food with them though, and All some right. money with them. I call my mom. I be like, "Hey, mom, open that door." She will come through that door. So when I see my mom open that door, I'm bagging <laughs> out of the driveway because <laughs> I <clears throat> I need the time to myself. I drop my children off at my sister's house. She said, oh, "Where your mom at?" I just pull right, it off. right. You need sometimes you need time to yourself to to revamp to I being back. Yeah, you revamp on being a mom, you know. <laughs> what you say? Hold on, I, I well, I didn't hear this. That's why I need my key back. She just dropped kids off on you as me. 
She opened Ooh. up the door. They opened up the door. <clears throat> One day she was like, hey, can the girls sit over there while you uh, while we go make this run? The girls are already in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I can say, yeah, they already in my house. I see. Yeah, yeah. She be asking for her house key back. I don't, uh, uh. This is for emergencies. No, yes, it is. is the kids for emergencies. Shouldn't yeah. everybody have a yeah. set of keys that for emergencies? I drop mine off and just tell her she come run like, don't don't leave us with the baby. <laughs> right, right. Take the baby with you. Yeah, but you self care. You gotta take care of yourself. Take a break to yourself. Well as men, take a break for yourself. If you you a full time for the ones that are. Full time. I don't care if you part time, but if you there, take time to yourselves. Yep. Aunties too. Yeah, I dropped the dog off too. <laughs> aunties, take time to yourself. <laughs> that that babysitting help with the children. Them rich aunties, please take time for yourselves too. They help with their nieces mm-hmm. and nephews. I can yep. honestly say mine do because I I leave them at her door either in her house <laughs> while she's at work. <laughs> But you don't mean on the rich auntie, so don't be trying to find me. Right, right. <laughs> so anybody, you get you want to give you a shout out? Tell your followers where to follow you. Uh, ooh. <clears throat> well, they can follow me on TikTok at Fighting for My Life. Mm. That's F I G. You talking to me? No, I'm not talking oh. to you. Fighting for my life. Ooh, I was about to spell it, and you made me forget what I was about to say. <laughs> What you put in here? Only in America. No. <laughs> 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 look, I don't think no, it, look, I'm on TikTok, but fighting for my life is 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 I'm on TikTok. I'm on, also on look, Instagram. You see it too, talking about me. Fighting for my life. It's pretty good. <laughs> don't nobody know me like that though. But if you want to follow, you can follow. But nobody knows me. Fighting for your life. Mm-hmm. Well, we up and coming, baby. We coming. Man, what? Tell them, Shay. Give me five it's on coming, baby. Give me five on there. Follow me on IG. It's Shea Love April. I'm swallowing those seeds now. Uh uh-uh. uh. She's you know. about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <Go> ahead. Really? <laughs> Stab <Stay out> my <laughs> head. <laughs> <laughs> you follow me at Shea Love 831 on IG and TikTok. Hey, everybody, I'm your girl with Millie said. Until next time, have a good week. Y'all yeah, have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Please say something nasty. We both be thinking.